What the Maya would be looking at was a rare and subtle movement of the stars that Jenkins calls a galactic alignment. The December solstice sun and the galactic center, over the last 2,000 years, these two things have been converging. They've come together. And this is what the ancient sky watchers were uh, noticing happening in the sky. From their vantage on the Yucatan Peninsula, Jenkins believes the Maya witnessed this slow movement toward an alignment of the sun and the center of the Milky Way. We can see that there's a three-way lineup between the Earth, the December solstice sun, and the nuclear bulge of the galactic center. So basically, you're saying that ancient Mayan astronomers would observe the slow shift of the plane of the Milky Way and the center of the galaxy moving closer and closer to the horizon. Right, and they were doing this some 2,000 years ago. It's a testament to the incredible expertise of the ancient Maya if they really made this connection, especially since this phenomenon only happens once every 26,000 years. I believe that when they formulated their 2012 calendar about 2,100 years ago, they intended the end date, December 21st of 2012, to target this future alignment of sun and galaxy. Jenkins' theory is controversial, and there is no scientific evidence that this alignment will have any catastrophic consequence. But for at least some modern Maya, this event resonates with the end of their ancient calendar. When the sun aligns with the center of the galaxy, Inevitably, it will trigger the energy that will end the world. And some people believe this will happen on December 21st, 2012.